Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for this reading. This is going to be to all signs watching and it's going to be a check-in. Um, I really just felt like I needed to do this reading because there's some people that are out there that need to hear some messages. Um, so yeah, let's begin. Let's kick it off with Aries. Aries, what do you need to hear? Okay, Aries, lots of reversals coming up around you here. I feel like someone isn't wanting to communicate or someone isn't wanting to talk right now. Um, they're not being open with you because they haven't assessed the situation here. So I see someone here not even being on friendly terms with you. I'm actually seeing some distancing uh, that's going to take place. Okay, they're not ready to talk. I'm seeing someone's deactivating their social media. They sort of want to retreat and move away from the world. So I feel like you've got someone who's avoiding an issue here. Uh, there's something you need to talk about and go through, but this person isn't willing to do it. At least not right now. Not in the energy that they find themselves in. Okay, they, they sort of want to let go of whatever's bothering them. And this is their way of doing that. So I reckon they've got they've got some stuff going on here, but I definitely don't feel like they're in the mood to talk about it. They're not ready to talk about it here as well. They they sort of want to let it go and just move on to some something else or someone else. So you've got someone that's definitely, you know, avoiding something here. Definitely lots of avoiding. No communication coming through as yet. That could change. But I feel like right now someone's maybe doing a bit of a ghosting or a disappearing at dairies. Okay, let's have a look at Taurus. Okay, Taurus, also lots of reversals. Um, okay, we've got the star card. So Aquarius coming up. Anyone dealing with an Aquarius, this person is reversed. I feel like someone's not being their chirpy, fun self because they're not getting what they want from you. You've sort of closed the door on this person or you've closed the door on the chapter here. Now they notice that you're no longer interested or you're sort of, um, you no longer feel fulfilled or challenged by this person and they're sensing it. Okay, they're sensing it, so they're not they're no longer in a position where they're getting what they want from you and it's bothering them. Someone's someone's bothered, someone's upset, someone's getting angry about this. Uh, I feel like it's something about a conversation about the future or something to do with like kids or a family home. Don't know if you guys were planning to move in uh, or start a family, but a conversation that was sort of going uh, gearing that way didn't go to how this person wanted and they felt like you shut them down. So they're they're a bit of a in, a in a sour mood here trying to process why you don't want these things with them so they're sort of sitting there uh, left sitting there scratching their head going well why why didn't Taurus want this with me what's so bad about me so there could be some insecurities um they haven't healed from so it's like Taurus you brought out some insecurities they had before so they had their own stuff going on before you just came in and you highlighted it that you highlighted that for them I think and now that's what they're dealing with. Okay, let's look at Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you're still stuck in the past. You're thinking about a past situation or maybe a Scorpio here. Uh, you're still reminiscing about walking away from a situation and nine of wands you're still thinking about an ending that has happened recently or maybe you're in a connection and you want to end things you no longer see um, a vision with this person two of swords reversed you're not fighting it you're sort of following your emotions could be around a cancer because we have the moon as well or it's like there's a lot of subconscious activity coming your way you're having a lot of dreams you're having a lot of thoughts you're seeing a lot of things pop up and it's kind of scaring you a little bit and you're not sure which way to go with it so as things are right now i feel like an epiphany is coming and you're sort of in a bit of a limbo stage here uh, gemini you're probably not too happy being in that limbo stage but it is going to pass because there is there is some sort of new beginning that comes with death so i feel like some of you may be getting a second chance uh, or the past is coming back up someone from further afield that you disconnected with you they, they they might be thinking about you too and you're sort of channeling each other's energy um five of swords like these people are lost it's almost like you're kind of lost you're putting you're trying to put everything together and understand what happened around an ending but i get a sense that you and that person that you ended things with 
you guys are both lost. You're both thinking like, well, what the hell just happened? Like, how do I fix this? Is is it fixable? Like, there's a lot of big questions you're putting to yourself there. But you've got your guard up, so you're not letting anyone know. Uh, it's like, even if someone does come back, you're going to keep them at a distance. Because, because I feel like you want to protect yourself and you're scared. So you're being very subtle about it. Um... Okay, or someone from the past wants to come back come back in, but they're going to dip their toes in the water to see how you react before they go any further. Okay, so I, I get a sense that, yeah, this, whatever this energy is, probably like they want some sort of truce. White Rose, it's like they're surrendering, so maybe they want to keep things civil. So someone might want to reach out just to sort of keep tabs on you, but you, you're going to know what's up straight away. All right, let's look at Cancer. I'm just whizzing through these. I've had a couple of cups uh, of coffee. That's probably why. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Cancel. Okay, you've come up as the moon. You've come up as yourself and your element here. Could be thinking about a cancer. There's a cancer or Aries thinking about you, trying to connect with you. Okay, what I'm seeing here is you are not in control of your destiny. You don't feel like you're in control of things right now. A part of you feels like things are kind of slipping away. And I feel like the Emperor reversed is telling me you're not feeling as in control of your life as you once did. You feel like you're losing something here. Or there's a bit of a downgrade. You're going from the Emperor to the Page. So Cancer, some of you are downgrading something here, but you're actively doing it. Um, you could be downgrading a person, like uh, downgrading to a different job, downgrading um, like sinking low in like a, a situation here. And it has you feeling some type of way because I feel like you're you're sensitive so the moon's come up in your sign here. It's telling me there's a lot of activity going on subconsciously or there's something about your feelings. Uh, and I feel like with a page of pentacles, you're trying to distract yourself by doing other things, but that's putting off some sort of emotions that you're trying to feel or that your subconscious wants you to feel. You're, it's, it's like putting it off on purpose because you know... Uh, you're not ready to think about these things. Two of Pentacles, you're not ready to think about what could have been, what might have been. Could be the past with the Cancer uh, Moon, could be a past lover or a past ex. If not, uh, I feel like the Moon's telling me you're wanting emotional security, but the people that you're connecting with aren't giving it to you. They're either younger, they're inexperienced, um, or they have too much baggage. They're already putting a lot of pressure on you and you might have just come out of something and you're not ready for that. You know, ten of wands reversed. You don't want the drama. You you don't want the pressure. Okay, you you just want to be you. You want to do your own thing, and there could be people coming up around you um, that are very very distracted by you, and they like you, but maybe they don't compare to a person, or maybe you feel like they come with too much baggage. Okay, and it's too much for you to handle at this energy. Okay, Leo, you've got the devil. Could be a Capricorn. Uh, Leo, you've come up strength reversed. So you are not yourself in a situation. You're not happy about the way things are going. Okay, there's a toxic situation coming up here that you need to be careful of. Maybe with a Taurus or a Cappy. Uh, I'm seeing with a devil connection. It's like an unhealthy obsession. Someone's playing games here. Um, I get it's a bit of a standoff. Someone's trying to be someone stubborn here with you. And they're trying to see if you're going to reach out uh, and make a move. So... Get ready for a lot of silence. I want to say both of you are like not speaking to each other. And then the hangman tells me it's like a dead connection. So it's like a standoff. You don't want to speak. You don't want to initiate. They don't want to speak. They don't want to initiate. And then the connection just dies out. Be careful. It could happen. But I get that someone's playing games here with the devil card. Um, it's shadow work. The shadows. So I, I, I think they're doing things behind closed doors. That's why you're not seeing any movement. Seven of Pentacles is growth, uh, but it's reversed. So someone's reverting to their old ways again. And it's not healthy. And I feel like a part of you doesn't want to tolerate it. You're no longer as strong as you used to be, or your feelings aren't as strong as what they used to be for this person. They're actually changing. Okay, Virgo, let's look for you. Okay, one-sided situation I see coming up for you, Virgo, here. I see that you're getting attached with the Queen of Pentacles, but 
you're not getting the love you need or the love that you deserve. Now, you're probably looking at a couple of options here going which person is right for you, which one's going to treat you better. So I, I see you assessing your options here, to, to be honest. Four of Wands, you're not looking for a commitment just yet because you have to see the one who's going to be there for you. I feel like you're tired of having to repeat yourself to someone. It's like I see you constantly going, you know, well, this upsets me when you do this and that hurts me here and that hurts me here. And I see you to a point where you're exhausted with the Five of Pentacles because you've had these numerous conversations come up uh, and I feel like someone keeps doing this to you and it's like you just go through this emotional fluctuation and you're like, I can't do this anymore. It's exhausting being a part of it. The ending is reversed though, so I don't think you're ready to leave just yet. You may have one foot out the door in a situation. But I feel like you're exhausted. You're not getting what you want. And this person is shutting you out. They love bombing you one day. And then the next day, they don't respond to your calls and messages. It's super confusing. So I feel like, to be honest, you're starting to build up a wall. Uh, and I feel like in this energy that you're kind of in, your tolerance is wearing super, super thin with this person. Let them pick up on that energy. They need to know that something's up in the relationship. Four of Wands reversed. They need to know that it's not okay for them to treat you this way. And if you're going to give up this energy, they're going to pick up on it. Okay, a card fell out here, so I'm going to use it for Libra. Okay, you're in a sticky situation here, Libra. Caught between two lovers, two people. Okay, new start coming in, new connection. Something about a twin. F wow, two of cups and the lovers, Libra. Fantastic. What's going on here? Two connections. One is twin flame, one is soulmate, or one is like a karmic connection. The other is like a soulmate twin flame connection here. I see you in a bit of a pickle because you have two very profound people that are in your life right now or that will be very, very soon. One of which can make you very happy. And I've got the moon come up. We've got Gemini. So I reckon it's a cancer or a gem or you have to decide between a cancer and a gem. Either way, Ace of Cups tells me you're going to be very happy with whichever decision you make. I also see like um, communication coming in and I feel like, Libra, you're sort of playing the field. You've got people coming in, they're asking you out, they want to take you out, they want to take you on dates and it's sort of like, oh, who do I choose? So people are coming in, secret admirers are coming out of the woodworks, okay? They've been hiding, but they're coming out. One of which I think maybe long distance or it's like a foreign person. They may have like this exotic link to them. Um, or, you know, I'm not surprised if someone's coming in from long distance and then you sort of meet someone online and, and it all takes, um, takes off from there. But I feel like you're getting a lot of messages and calls. So get ready for a lot of missed calls, I think, and a lot of messages because someone wants to talk like they're desperate. They're going to keep, they're going to keep pursuing you. They're really into you. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's falling in love very quickly. Uh, very quickly with you here. So that's fantastic. All right, let's look at Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, Scorpio, I see you. I see you actually walking away from a person or situation here. Could be an Aries or a Libra. Uh, what I've got is lust for you, Five of Cups. You're letting go of something or you feel like a connection is being lost here. Um, the Magician, you sort of want to be on your own right now or it's telling me the universe wants you to be alone. Okay, it wants you to sort of process things. You need to cut ties with the connection. I also get Scorpio. Some of you are mourning the loss of like a previous connection here. I don't know if memories have resurfaced or they will like pictures are going to pop up on your phone or someone might mention something about your ex like I get that someone might say something here and what I get is you need to tie yourself away from that okay otherwise you're just going to get super messy again over this ex I reckon be careful because it'll put you in a dark place and you don't want to be there I feel like you've done so much work Scorpio to move on from this person and they may come back there could be a new start with the ace of wands but they're going to want something physical with you be careful because the magician can be manipulative and play mind games. So they may say they want something emotional with the moon. They may come across as super, super emotional and ready to have something serious with you. Um, but then the next thing you know, with the Ace of Wands, I get a vibe that it's going to be like, what do I get? I lost my vibe. I get a vibe that with the Ace of Wands, it's more physical. 
but they're gonna disguise it and they're not gonna act like too interested but I reckon it's it's all part of their act just be careful with the justice card this know that this was a karmic connection there was some heavy stuff that happened between the both of you and I don't want you to forget that I know that you won't but I don't know I just feel like this person knows how to work their way around you and, and, and get to your soft spots or maybe you do have a soft spot for them you could five of cups tells me you're not over them you might think you are but you're not not yet anyway okay Sag let's look for you what's going on okay I'm feeling hurt or betrayed about a person okay you're disappointed in yourself because you misjudged a person um, I feel like there's a conversation or an argument that's going to take place and it's like you're going to become disappointed in how this person reacts to a situation now they could be abusive they could open up and tell you they've been with someone else i'm getting that you're going to feel disappointed in them i do uh nine of pentacles you're going to be happy to move on from this person or a situation because they're not treating you well eight of swords knight of swords they're argumentative it's like this person always has an issue with something they're never happy they're like impossible to please and you sort of don't want to like spend the rest of your life trying to please them. I feel like you've done a lot for this person already. And on some level, they're not really um, understanding or appreciating how much you've done. Maybe they haven't really thought about it. Uh, but I feel like you were disappointed because you misjudged. You thought this person was one way, but they're actually a different way. Uh, they may even like confess that they've cheated or something. I get like it's a cheating or a betrayal. But I feel like you're in a timid situation. Um... So you're, I, I get you're in this period of judging them and that's because you're going to hold a lot of anger and resentment for, for what they've done. Either to you or to someone else. And it's like you find out more about this person's character and you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to be a part of that. If you're wanting to leave, Nine of Pentacles is here, which tells me it would be a good decision to leave that kind of energy and you'll be okay. All right, you're not too attached at this point, so I don't feel like you're going to have a complete heartbreak. I just feel like the universe wants me to tell you you're going to be okay if you want to step away from this person. And maybe it's temporary, all right? Maybe you need to think about what they've done, what they're saying here. You need to judge the situation. Keep the door open, all right? The door's open. So don't burn your bridges with this person, maybe, because if, especially if you want to come back, but if you want to walk away, you'll be all right, okay? You'll be in good hands. Okay, Cappy. Was I up to Cappy? Yeah. Okay, Pisces coming in. Okay, Seven of Swords. Someone's doing some tiptoeing or some deceits going on here. Okay, definitely a betrayal. Uh, okay. It could be around a Pisces. We've got this Reverie card. Uh, Capricorn, some of you are in a bit of a fantasy here with the person. And they're doing some things that are not the best. I'm seeing some red flags, but you're ignoring them because you feel like you can change this person or you feel like you're in love and everything's going to be okay. Um, I want to say that there's something about a reality check, Capricorn. Someone's in a fantasy play here. It might not necessarily end well because the Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, someone's, someone's doing something under your nose. Okay, and it could really hurt you. But there's masks on these people. So I'm wondering if you either can't see what they're up to or you're choosing not to see what they're up to. But everything is sort of going to make sense, Eight of Wands. Everything's going to fit into place. So I feel if you have a suspicion about what this person is doing, follow that suspicion. Because King of Chalices is very intuitive. I'm getting a sense that you have something nudging at you within, but you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it because you think this person is the one. They've said things to you that have made you think, oh my God, like they love me. They want me, you know, be careful because they might have said things like, even they might have an unhealthy fantasy and they're like, I want to do this with you and I want to give you this, but they haven't done it. Okay. There's been a lot of talk. A lot, they've been talking a lot of smack, but they haven't lived up to this. You know, they haven't walked the walk. So be careful of this seven of swords they could be tricking you they could be tricking you and you're already blinded by love maybe infatuation here and it's not it's not making sense 
But if you're not careful, you could end up getting hurt by this person and they've done it before. I'm getting a sense that you've been either with this in this cycle with this person before or they've done it to other people so they know all too well how you're going to react what their next move will be it's like they have it all figured out cabby mm. okay let's look at aqua aquarius what do you need to know okay also have a bit of Pisces energy. You're wanting to move forward in the situation. Okay. You're torn at this stage. I feel like you're torn in between the past and the future. I feel like some of you want to move on, but you're having a hard time from moving on, maybe from a Cancer or a Pisces. I've got the five of ones. So there's people in your ear telling you very different things. You've got family and friends and, and people that know you and that know about your past relationships. They're telling you one thing and then other people are telling you other things and you're so super confused. Uh, all right. I feel like whoever, whoever you're trying to move forward with isn't giving you what you want. So it's one-sided, so it feels like it's more coming from your side that you want to move forward. It's like you're always texting them, you're always planning dates. You know, they're not really openly responding to you right now, and that's what's making you confused. And then you sort of think, maybe I should just go back to the ex with the chariot card. Maybe I should just message them. I do see some of you reaching out to your ex, and I feel like you're going to get a response. There is still something emotional there on their end. That's why. I feel like if you don't get a response, Aqua, they're not ready to speak. Okay, they're not ready to communicate, but I feel if you are getting a response, it's because they still care. Uh, so I feel like, I don't know, are you just settling to be with someone or to have someone by your side? Because at this stage, Aqua, I get like, you don't want to be alone with yourself. You don't want to be in your own company right now. All right, you're feeling super emotional. Could be the planets doing this, but I just feel you're in this energy where you don't want to be on your own. You want that distraction, but you're not getting enough from this new connection. And then you're like, well, it's a safety net going back to the ex. You know what they're like. You know what you know the sex is like. You know what to expect from this person. You know what activities they enjoy. You you really know what's up with them. Whereas this new person, you're like, okay, well they're not really giving me what I want. Are they even worth continuing this and chasing them over? Mm, I do feel like some of you, you might have an ex that's going to show up. You might drive out to see them. They might drive out to see you. Okay, lucky last Pisces. What's going on here for you? Okay, you've got the tower moment. Queen of Wands reversed. You're not in control of what's going on right now. Four of Swords. You feel defeated. Okay, I feel like there's a desperation here. You feel like, I, I see some of you like praying or feeling really ho hopeless or helpless about a situation. I also feel like you're mentally exhausted from a connection that's not giving you what you want. It could be with a Leo or a Earth sign because you've got that Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you thought you found someone rare or it's someone very unique that you're trying to go after. They tick a lot of boxes here for you and you've searched a long time to find someone like them. But they're coming up reversed, so they're not, they can't give you the stability that you're wanting right now, Pisces. Could that change in the future? Yes, but for now, I feel like you're in a stage where you're mentally exhausted. You're trying to reach out. You're not really getting much in return. They might be very cold. They're putting up a resistance, okay? They've got this resistance. They're putting up some walls here. Could be an ego thing. They're trying to control you, maybe. They're trying to control the situation. The tower has hit. Pisces, some of you are dealing with a broken heart or a situation here. Okay, four of swords. You need to take time away from love, I think. Um, and I feel like I see a lot of you being angry at like the world and at people around you when really it's a reflection of what's going on internally. And, you know, maybe you need that time for yourself. But I feel like with the tower moment, that's hit hard. And it was about a very intimate situation. It could have been about like children or with someone you lived with or someone you had a life with like it could be a divorce because it was that happy family home and it's on the cliff it's like crumbling so i feel like you built something up with this person and now it's like crumbling and you're just like you're angry that it's turned out this way i'm seeing a lot of anger 
but I also feel like that anger is going to be overridden with exhaustion. I do feel like you're entering a period of no contact, so I'm not seeing much communication at this stage. Uh, or even if you do, it's going to be very brief and very cold, and it's not going to be it's not going to go anywhere, is what I want to say. So you probably have to hang in there a little bit longer for that towel moment to subside and give yourself that four of swords because any sort of breakthroughs right now they're being blocked off they're not being welcomed in so something you need to uh, watch out for here Pisces but I'm gonna leave it there thank you everyone for tuning in um, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this content if you wanted to become a member on the channel please feel free to do that you will get access to member only content and extended readings for monthly uh, uh, readings as well otherwise Thank you everyone for tuning in. Lots and lots of love and we shall chat soon. So thank you and bye for now.